Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next Avatar news update video. Uh, this is a pretty small news update video. I don't think either of the pieces of news are particularly huge, but if you uh, are someone who is paying attention to kind of what's going on here, um, I, I think some of this stuff is kind of interesting. So first of all, a piece of news about the channel. Uh, one of my big three end of year videos that I always do is going to be going live tomorrow. And that's gonna be the top five story moments for Avatar in 2023. You can see the thumbnail here. This will be what is the official thumbnail for the video. Uh, this video will be going live tomorrow. So basically if you're watching this video, it'll be for sure live uh, at the same time, basically tomorrow, pretty much. Um, so yeah, this is where I'll, I'll choose my top five story moments from the content that actually came out this year. Uh, and then I will begin work on the other two of the three videos, the 2023 Avatar Year in Review, and also the 2024 Avatar Preview. But those videos will be more uh, later on in December, just because I kind of, to make these videos as accurate as possible, I obviously need to wait until the end of the year to have all the news for 2023. And to have all the news ahead of 2024. So look out for that stuff uh, tomorrow and then uh, later on in December. But uh, let's jump into the news here with this. Brand new disc plate, very expensive disc plate, 299 for a standard sized disc plate. Now, obviously the idea, as you can see here, is that it is this light up special edition a special printing process, all this sort of stuff. It's a super special fancy disc plate. It's called a Lumino. It's a specific kind of a, a high-end kind of brand within disc plate that they have. And Avatar gets this really nice Crossroads of Destiny a Crystal Catacombs piece. So obviously it looks kind of cool. And the concept of like, oh, disc plate, but light up because the posters themselves, as you can sort of see here, are cool. Like they're made out of metal. Uh, and I when I did a review of one of these, I actually praised it quite a bit, especially if like currently is on like a Black Friday sale where you're getting 33% off. I think it's definitely worth grabbing one of them if you like the idea of having a super durable poster and some of the images are really, really nice. I have two, this one here, and then the Oppa you can see behind me there is also a disc plate. Um, but the issue here with this one obviously is that this one is the same size as this. So it's a it's a pretty small, it's not a huge poster, it's a small-ish poster here. Uh, but obviously this one's going to have all this lighting effects. Now, if you go through the description here, it says it has like 3D printed cave textures, shining crystals, shining details on Ang, matte and gloss finish, depending on the section, obviously. Now, there's stuff that obviously justifies the price. Um... But I think it is just forever going to be a very hard sell to people on this. The idea that you are literally charging, especially on sale, when this is not included in the sale, you can't get 33% off this uh, Lumino. You can get it off standard disc plates. Something the same size as this, but it costs effectively almost 10 times the price. Um, now, they attempt to justify it here with all of this. You can sort of see if you go through, say, like this video, the idea of like it is a more kind of complicated thing. It's got a much sturdier attachment to the wall. It would want to if this is the price. You actually have to drill this one into the wall, but you can see it has a whole thing to extend it out beyond the wall. Uh, you can see here it does actually have like a battery pack and stuff like that included. Um, and if you scroll down on this whole thing, like it, it explains to you the whole process of like there all, are all these different layers, um, OLED panels, uh, and you can see here there's engravings, finishes, uh, lots of crazy printing stuff going on. In this case, you can see the idea of like, okay, there's raised stuff, there's obviously lighting effects all over for like Azula's lightning and stuff like that, shining stuff on the crystals, Ang has a bit of a glittery uh, kind of effect going on. It's quite nice, but how many people, especially just people within the fandom who would be super into merch, are going to grab this at this price? Especially when they are not offering this. This is not a standard image as part of the, the collection. Now, I'm assuming maybe in a couple of months they might add this brand new official piece of art. Um into the kind of categories where you can get it on like a standard one. Like here's the one that I have like uh, right here. The Appa, of course, that's behind me is here. Um, 
but I'm assuming it'll work similarly to this one. This was previously um, uh, a exclusive display that they offered that was only available for a limited time. But then uh, a couple of months ago, they added it to the normal selection. Very cool Ang Ozai image and you can get it for 44, but that's full price. Currently there's a 33% sale. So you're getting this for like, what's that? Uh, something over 10 euro off. So it's 30, low 30s um, plus shipping. That's much more reasonable. I think for that sort of a price with the sort of 30-ish percent off, this plates are worth it, especially like for your first kind of couple if you really want one. I think that's my general thoughts on this plate. So it's that I think they're good, but probably can't recommend you get like tons of them. But if there's a piece that really kind of catches your eye, like a new piece of art like this, um, I would definitely recommend it because they do have a nice enough selection, but I, I would like to see more variation. I'd like to see Korra get added. They said they would, but they still haven't. Not sure what the uh, whole idea is. The, otherwise, the most recent ones are these ones with the quotes. So there's a Toph one with the quote, Ang with a quote, Iroh and Zuko with a quote. And um, still waiting for them to add other ones. <laughs> um, so that's just to kind of highlight this plates a little bit again and that there is this crazy fancy one that just is it's such a, it's just one of those things where like who's this for at this price they could spend like an hour attempting to explain to me this is why it justifies this price tag and i'd still sort of be like so it's this with some lights and a bit of printing stuff really okay but uh you haven't really sold me on this but the image is nice if you do get this i suppose it is a very unique kind of collector's item type thing that i can't imagine many people have it is obviously a bit of a limited thing like you only have what did they say 12 weeks to get each one they only offer them for 12 weeks um just one of those things um overall so um that's that. And then the final piece of news that I want to highlight is just uh, this. With regards to the Avatar Legends role-playing game, there is something available for free. The Movers and Shakers Quick Start Guide uh, is available for free. So if you have a drive through RPG, that's what this website is. Uh, you can see up here, drive through RPG. If you have an account here, just get one, it's free. You can get this completely uh, for free. So this is both a quick start guide for playing Avatar uh, Legends RPG, but then it also includes the specific Korra era adventure, Movers and Shakers, which is uh, actually a quite interesting movers that includes stuff about movers stars, like issue on set type stuff, uh, as well as some triad stuff being involved here. Like it says here, the Creeping Crystals are involved. One of the Creeping Crystals lieutenants is here. So there's a little bit of extra lore here. The adventures never have like too much, but it's definitely something worth grabbing for completely free here. Cause obviously if you missed it for free RPG day, uh, here it is available. Um, Beyond that, I do just want to sort of kind of highlight this and the, the way that this is available. So obviously drive through RPG, if you just want PDFs, all that sort of stuff is available on a website like drive through RPG, where you can get the adventure guide for Wanchi Tong, the Korra book, which is obviously just recently released, is available for 20. Uh, and then the core book is available for 25. Obviously, I would say the core book would be the main one because there is actually, I think, some decent lore in that, especially the Roku information stuff is there. You can also see the Zaysan Adventure and Urgent Request is available here for $3. And there's a variety of different deals depending on what bundle of things that you actually get. Like this has pretty much everything in it, I think, except the starter set stuff. Um... It's a little bit more complicated physical because the Korra book is in the process of shipping to people who did the late pre-order, but it hasn't been like quote unquote officially released to everyone just yet. So I believe the only way to actually buy the physical copy of the Republic City book at the moment is to get the bundle number two or the bundle number three. And even then they specify that like 
this is part of this like uh, late pre-orders that are shipping in or around the next couple of days. So my assumption is that they are going to fulfill pre-orders and then obviously what, what stock is left over will go up on the website. But currently, if you look up the Republic City stuff um, specifically, uh, it isn't actually available to buy on its own. But I'm assuming in the coming days it will be available. Um, the Avatar stuff specifically on Magpie is slightly on sale. You can see like 750 off the core book if you actually are interested in it. Uh, uh, the special edition uh, book, obviously. If you got the Kickstarter like I did, it obviously is a lot cheaper there. There's the starter set um, as well. Uh, and then the other thing would be... Uh, actually, let me just get this up. I forgot to get this up. It's a bit tricky to find. I, I think it might you have, might have to go through the, to the homepage to get this. But the Movers and Shakers, if you want a physical copy of this, and you obviously weren't able to get it from Free RPG Day, Magpie are offering it for free during um, Black Friday. So otherwise it will be 10 to get and have it shipped, a physical copy. But right now it is free, but you do have to pay shipping. Now, obviously, if you're in America, the shipping should be relatively reasonable. Elsewhere, it'll be obviously a bit higher. Um, but that, if you want a physical copy, that's the way to get it. Um, so this is also available here. So this is just a thing for kind of collectors and stuff like that. You know, you can see they recommend go to Drive Through RPG to get the Movers and Shakers uh, thing. And, and that's the whole situation there. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much uh, everything I wanted to cover here. So, obviously, like, if you're not into disc plates, if you are not into Avatar Legends, yes, there hasn't really been any significant news uh, just yet. Hopefully, maybe there's some stuff in December. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, otherwise, uh, like I said at the start here, at the very least, we have some fun content coming up on the channel, uh, including this the first of my three big videos to end off the year but um yeah in the comments let me know what your thoughts are on this what are your thoughts on a 300 dollars fancy disc plate um is this price at all justified um and uh yeah have are you going to get movers and shakers for free the pdf here but um yeah that has been the video thanks for watching and bye